Hi, welcome to 8th grade science. My name is Mrs. Mappa and this is assignment one. Uh, feel free to take notes while you watch or just pause and rewind as many times as you want. Um, it is my first time as well, so we'll learn this together. All right, so the first word that we're going to learn together is the word eclipse. Eclipse has two syllables, and in sign language, you uh, stick out your pointer fingers and your thumb, and you kind of slide them together. So here's eclipse. I'm going to teach you two more signs. The next one is space. You're just going to take your right hand if you're right-handed and just kind of wave it around in space. So eclipse, space. And then the last one I'm going to teach you has two parts. It's the word shadow. You're going to take your pointer finger and draw a line across your forehead. And then take your two thumbs and then wiggle them down. So here's shadow. All right, let's start from the top. We have eclipse. We have space. And then we have shadow. So it goes like this. An eclipse is an event in space where one object casts a shadow onto another. So what is an eclipse? An eclipse is an event in space where one object casts a shadow onto another. Try it again. What is an eclipse? An eclipse is an event in space where one object casts a shadow onto another. Okay, so in these videos, there's going to be an objective and there's also going to be an agenda just to let you know what we're going to do throughout the whole video. The objective of today is so that you can explain the difference between a solar and lunar eclipse. And these are the, these are the pieces of the agenda that are going to take us there. First, we're going to practice signing eclipse with definition. We already did that. We're going to draw, draw a diagram of the solar eclipse and draw a diagram of the lunar eclipse. And then at the very end, you'll have some time to complete an iLearn page on your page 40 of the ISN. Okay, so just take a moment and look at these pictures. One of them is a solar eclipse and one's a lunar eclipse. Which one do you think the one on the left is? Which one do you think this one is right here? Take a second. A few guess that it's a solar eclipse, you're right. So the next one would, of course, be a lunar eclipse. So don't get confused. If it's a solar eclipse, it's the sun, sol, if you know Spanish, sol is sun. And luna in Spanish is moon. So lunar eclipse is the moon. Okay, let's first talk about the solar eclipse. Here's a little diagram. We're not going to draw exactly this, but we're going to draw sort of like it. Um, here's the sun right here. And what do you notice about the earth and the moon? The earth and the moon. This is not to scale. So however size it is on the, the diagram, it's not actually that size in real life. So here's the moon, and it is in the middle of the earth and the sun. So what happens when we, if we're standing like right here, and we're looking this way, we're going to see the moon instead of the sun. So the sun is being covered up by the moon, eclipsed by the moon, and we're going to see uh, just the moon and not the sun. All right, on this slide, we're going to see another diagram, and it's going to be a little bit different. Still have the sun right here, and now I want you to take a look at the earth, and then here's the moon. Remember, the moon revolves around the earth, but instead of being over here like it was before, it's on the other side. So let's imagine that we are on the earth again. We're looking at the moon. But instead of seeing the moon from um, a different angle, the, the Earth is casting a shadow on the moon, so we're going to see the lunar eclipse. All right, so here we have the two diagrams next to each other. Let's compare and contrast them a little bit. Let's uh, talk about the solar eclipse first. 
the solar eclipse casts a shadow on the moon. Okay, and the moon is between the sun and the earth in the solar eclipse. The sun's light is blocked by the moon. And so on a solar eclipse, it gets really dark. The lunar eclipse, Earth still casts a shadow on the moon, but the moon's in a different spot. On the lunar eclipse, Earth is between the moon and the sun, so they're in a different position. And then on the lunar eclipse, the full moon becomes dark from Earth's shadow. So where the moon is now on the lunar eclipse, it normally would be a full moon, but because it is right in line with the sun and also the Earth, the Earth casts a shadow and creates it to have a, an, a lunar eclipse. Congratulations, you got through your first lesson on a video flipped classroom. So let's review a little bit. Here's an eclipse and the hand sign, remember, is eclipse, space, and shadow. So an eclipse is an event in space where an object casts a shadow on another. It's either going to be a sun, a solar eclipse, or moon, a lunar eclipse. Um, your next task is to do your I Learned page, and um, I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, to finish up with this lesson, go ahead and open your interactive science notebooks to page 39 and 40. On page 39, you will see the moon phases calendar, which will get started soon. And then your I Learned page is from this lesson. So you'll see a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse foldable. You're just going to uh, go ahead and flip it open. And then inside, you're just going to write what you know about the solar eclipse. Go ahead and write complete sentences. Fill up the whole spot. You can write your diagrams. Um, anything that you know about the solar eclipse. Same thing about the lunar eclipse. When you're done with that, flip it open. And then add everything that you know about the lunar eclipse. Make sure they are in complete sentences so that when I grade them, um, I can also read them. Thank you for uh, coming on today and learning about solar and lunar eclipses. And I will see you soon. Have a great day.